Yes. The, uh, the team that was out there was playing so well together that I left it alone. And, and I told he and DJ, that's the only reason I left it alone. And if we finished the game, you would have said, what, you didn't even, but now you look at it, say, why didn't you have him in? You're right, we could have. But that group was playing so well that I didn't go to the rotation. Cal, the, the last play of the game, or at least the, the failed lob attempt there at the end, was that plan A? What, what was the plan there? The, the plan was, Antonio, if that lob was, wasn't there, and it obviously wasn't, was to go to the top of the key. But that didn't lose us the game. The 18 offensive rebounds, 50 points in the paint. You know, we thought we could guard them one-on-one. We probably needed to trap more. But then you're freeing up some other guys, so. Cal, the last few possessions seemed like 10 or 11 possessions in a row. They were going down low, scoring on uh, down there. What what do you do going forward? Are you switching guys in and out at the five? What, what do you do going forward in that position? Well, they keep working on their defense. And then the other thing is, OK, someone's not able to guard. I mean, the play where we switched and 22's under the basket, we stood behind them. And it was a three-point play. I mean, they scored eight times in a row, and it was like lobs which we, I was saying the same thing, just keep retreating. We don't want to give that up. Let the little guy try to shoot it. And we, we came up. So we broke down some. Um, we took a bad shot when we were up like five. We're ready to go. Um, and though I, I, the kids kept fighting. They just kept fighting. They never, they never stopped. And um, so, but it's just tough. I mean, we've lost three games like kind of like that where we have a chance and I, I told him after we lost the game in the first half that's where we lost the game and then we came back and fought and made it close but the first half was what cost us yes Cal on that you said start it seems like it's become a trend in these last few games of a slow start outside of the Vanderbilt game what do you tell your team to get those kind of slow starts so you aren't digging out of a hole you know, we just you keep on them about their intensity to start a game and the fight you have to have, especially at home. I mean, uh, you know, this is, uh, you know, just it was just disappointing that we got beat to so many balls. Just disappointing. And it, I think we're better than that. Um, and we just, we, there, there are things we got to get our big guys to do. There are things that some execution stuff, even the last play, Antonio was supposed to throw it to the rim. Take one bounce and throw it to the rim. He said he grabbed me. I knew he was going to grab you. That's why you were throwing it to the rim. Had some breakdowns offensively a little bit at the end. I mean, it's all stuff we can clean up. Coach, as you alluded to, the, the game was really lost in the first half, specifically the last five minutes where they just kind of went on a run. Just why is the team so inconsistent in their fight where they may start really well and really well, but there's that stretch somewhere in the middle of the game? I don't know. I wish I had the answer to it, but we're, we know we're capable. I mean, we're, we're playing teams and they're, you know, we got a chance to win at the end of the game, even if we don't play great and we have our chances. Most of our breakdowns come down on the defensive end and we're doing, I'm spending a lot of time on it. We're working on it. So, uh, thank, thank goodness we have time, but we got a tough schedule. Our league is really good. John, you guys have lost three straight at home. All fantastic crowds. How frustrating is it to not defend home court? I just I, I, I want to tell our fans that how much I appreciate what they are doing for this team or what they're trying to do. They're here, they're loud. Uh, when we needed them, they stood up, they went, you know, and then th this team needs it. And I just say, stick with them. And I appreciate the fans and, you know, uh, you walk into this building and it's packed like it's been for three games. You know, we, we just normally come out like on fire and we just haven't. So, um, but again, Nothing has changed in my mind with this team. I mean, we have the ability to do what we want. We're just going to have to do it together. Oops. 
Yeah, it's a young group. It's just this what you have to expect with young teams. I mean, I, I know everybody talks about freshmen, but they are freshmen. Yeah, and you know, you, you're going against a veteran team that really executes what they're trying to do at the four minute mark. And we weren't able to withstand some of the stuff they were doing. Um, most of it I'm, I'm, were breakdowns. Like you can't have them at that point in the game. But young teams, I've been here with young teams where we've had to kick it in gear and go. And, um, you know, as much as I'm feeling it, hard, tough, I can't stand losing, how do you think they're feeling? So I've got to make sure I'm focused on them uh, and keeping them in the right frame of mind. Cal, pick and roll defense has been sort of a struggle, and all three of your big guys have been in and out and missed trying anything. At times. Has it, I mean, just in terms of their availability, how much has that potentially limited how they've been able to get comfortable in those situations? You know, well, do and Aaron feel like they yeah, sometimes we're, look uncomfortable? We're, believe me, we're working on it. And, you know, you're talking about uh, young players and you're talking about kind of going off script a little bit at times. But they'll get it. I mean, we, I, we got a good team. We didn't play great and we had our chances. But give Gonzaga credit. They came in here to that crowd and, and withstood our run and made some baskets and did some stuff and stopped us. So, all right, let me go do radio.